Sending out email campaigns from your WordPress website doesn't have to be difficult. There's a plugin that's called Wemail that makes things super easy. Let me show you how to set it up right now. What's up everyone? So this is Wemail and the idea of this video is to show you how to actually install it. Now in this case, I'm installing the paid version. There's also a free version and I'll be leaving the link to both of these in the description. Now, one of the beauties right now is that the paid version is on a lifetime deal. That means that you're going to pay once and use forever. So no need to pay a month to month payment for their subscriber allowment. All right. So right now you can grab it for $39, a lifetime deal, and it gets you access to one website and 5,000 subscribers plus all their paid version features. That means that it's going to have more features than what you would have on the free version. So you get up to 5,000 subscribers and you can connect one website. If you need more subscribers because you have a big email list or you want to safe proof your website, you can jump into license tier two, three, and all the way up to five, four, 200,000 subscribers. All right. So for the setup process, in this case, I've installed the plugin and this is the first thing that we need to do. Connect our email, right? Now, before I show you this, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're planning to grab a hosting plan, I recommend that you check out Hostinger, link in the description. Jump to hosting, go to web hosting, and this is where you're going to have their shared hosting plans. Now, I will recommend the business plan, which is the most popular one, which is $349 a month. But if you use my coupon code, that price is going to drop even lower. So in this case, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? If you select 48 months, you're going to lock in the lowest price. If you select less months, the price is going to increase. And the renewal price is also going to increase. So I recommend 48 months. Now to apply my coupon code, this is the current price. And let's add my coupon code, which is SAS master and apply it. The price is going to drop to $150 with 77 cents. So use my coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan on Hostinger. All right. So for the setup process, now you have several options available on Wemail. First one is the test mode in case you just want to set it up test it out, see how it works. And if it works fine, then you go to the setup process. But you have several options to connect your email accounts. Now, the most practical one and the most popular one would be the SMTP. Now, with SMTP, for example, if you grab a plan at Hostinger, you can grab those details and add them here when you buy an email plan or wherever you have your email plan. Just add your mail server, port, encryption, password, etc and you'll be good to go to send out emails with your own domain. Now, there's other type of email connections that you can do here. For example, if you have Brevo, SparkPost, SangRid, PostMax, for example, all of these will work just fine. It'll ask you for the details that each one of these will be different, right? So just select the provider, for example, Amazon says, and it'll ask you for these details in order to continue. Now, in this case, I'll use test mode, but you add your own email provider to send out these email campaigns, right? So let's go ahead and continue. And the next option is going to be lists. So we can create lists to separate our subscribers. For example, we're going to have, for example, customers. If you have a WooCommerce store, we want to separate those. Maybe we want to separate these by uh, paying customers, uh, just subscribers, etc. So there's WordPress users. We'll use subscribers as one of them. And the next one will be customers. You can add your own and add more here. So you can decide how you want to designate your subscribers. OK, let's go ahead and continue. We have the option to import users. You can go ahead and auto import or you can disable. For example, auto import will bring in the roles that are already here. Now, in this case, the user roles are going to appear depending on your WordPress site. So, for example, if I had WooCommerce, I would be able to hear, be able to view here the customers, right? In this case, I have these available and I'll just say yes for testing purposes, but it depends on you if you want to auto import the emails or maybe it's a new site you don't want to auto import. So it depends up to you. Let's go ahead and continue. Now next, we're going to add our company details. So in this case, I'll just say test. Here we go. Just filled it out. And here's the website. In this case, it's my demo site. Let's go ahead and continue. Add your own details here. All right. And the next step, we are ready to create a campaign, view list or import subscribers. Now, I would recommend that if you already have subscribers from other platforms that you want to bring in here, do this first. You want to import subscribers depending on where you have them. So you have all these available options. But if you have somewhere else that is, is none of these companies, do it via CSV. So via CSV, we're going to import from a CSV, add your file here, and it's going to bring in your subscribers inside of here. Then you decide in what list you want to add them and then map them, right? Now, once that's done, we're going to go into campaigns and we're going to be able to create a brand new campaign from here. Now, that's one of my videos from my past videos that I've created. I didn't know that was going to appear there, but hey, that's cool. Let's go ahead and create a campaign. And in this case, we're going to name it test. Let's go ahead and click next. 
And then, for example, the subject, this is going to be the subject that's going to appear on the email. I'll just say test subject for testing purposes from demo and the email that's going to be tied to. Obviously, if you add your own custom domain email, you'll add it here. I'm just testing this, all right? Select the list. We're going to send it, for example, to customers, all right? We can select other lists if we like. In this case, just customers. The segment, we don't have segments right now. The excluded recipients, in this case, we can exclude if we have different type of lists. In case we add different ones, etc., it just filters out some of these. For example, segments, we can filter out other ones. For example, tags, if we tag our subscribers, we can leave them out depending if they haven't, for example, visited our site for X amount of days or certain aspects, we just remove them from here. All right, let's go ahead and save this. And now we're going to be able to select how we want to create our email. We got writing focus editor, which is writing, or we can drag and drop the advanced builder. Let's use this one. Now, the drag and drop builder is different. The other one's just going to be text. This one is going to be blocks. In this case, there's several templates available here. I recommend that you select one of these that kind of fits your business needs and then just modify it to your own business needs, right? For example, let's just say I like this one. I can preview it or I can just go ahead and select it. In this case, I'll select it. I can change all the details here by clicking on it. For example, I'll just select this and save and close. And that's going to be updated. I have options for content, style and settings for each one of these sections to replace images, remove blocks, etc., all available here. We can also switch this to the simplified editor if you don't like this type of view. Maybe you are used to the simple editor. You can go ahead and select it there, right? Now, once your email is ready, you like how it's composed, etc., we go save and go to next, right? And now we're going to be able to, again, work with the subject, preview text optional, the from, the email, the reply to email, etc. Do you want to deliver it right now or schedule it? In this case, for example, we'll schedule this and then we select the date and time when this is going to be sent out. And we have the option to select the time zone here, right? Once you're good to go, you can add your Google Analytics there. Go ahead next. Here we go. Details, we're good to go. Maybe you have everything ready. Send now. And that's how you're going to set up and send your emails with WeMail. It's super easy to get started. In the next video, we're going to do the automations so you know how this is going to be set up. But it's super easy and straightforward to just grab this new deal or the free version and set it up with your own email details and start sending out emails with your custom domain email. And that's a wrap.